Hey guys, what's up? Nobody here. And, um, I have some bad news. Well, it's good news, but it's mostly bad news. So, first off, the first thing that you're really going to notice is I have 11 lives now, and my score is, I don't know if it's higher or lower than it was last time, but, unfortunately, last night, when I was, after I'd finished Sand Ocean and finished the recording for it, my game corrupted. So, during the autosave last night, we lost power here in Florida. And unfortunately, it corrupted the auto, it corrupted the save that I had. So, I basically had to start from scratch. Again, for the third time. Imagine that. So, however, in the process, I had an opportunity to go back and restart the game from scratch again. And collect all the Chaos Emeralds. Now, I actually didn't leave you guys hanging. I did actually manage to record the other two emeralds that we didn't get, so I do have the footage for that. And what I've decided I'm going to do is, as you just saw right now, I came to here and there's a special ring here. I'm going to insert the footage right after I finish talking. I'm going to insert the footage of me uh, running through the uh, emerald maze with the UFO. And you're going to see that, and you're going to see what the maze is like and what my attempts were. I got the sixth one in one go, and I got the seventh one in two goes. I'll, if I can find the two giant rings, I'll put the two fails in, in case you want to see it. It might be funny. It was kind of funny how everything played out. But, so you can get a look at those, and it's the best I'm going to be able to do. And I apologize in advance for not being able to give you the most genuine experience possible. Oh, this is new? Well then, shall we get the 6th Chaos Emerald? 5th? 6th? I don't remember which one it is. Oh god, look at all these rings though. I feel like we might need them. I mean, ample supply of rings, not gonna complain. So... Oi, oi, no. Those are bad. And okay, we're gonna stay away from those, and we're gonna collect you- oh no. Oh no! Where the hell did I go? What am I doing? I don't understand! Is this like a maze of some sort? Do I have to find- oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, we, we might be able to do this. Oh no. Oh no! I could never do that again if I tried! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No! No! Okay. We got 55 rings. We're not doing too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. I guess we can't just jump over that area because there are bumpers there. Yee! 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 Hey! Hey! Okay, that could have ended horribly. I feel like I'm playing a Sonic mod of F Zero. Yay! Eee. Grab rings. Can we get it? Can we get it? Maybe. Oh, uh, no. No. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? No. Oh, we got it. Yes. Oh, man. I'm never going to be able to do that again if I tried. I had to start from the beginning and re-record this again. <laughs> so, not all is lost. I mean, it was fun. I definitely got to go through the game again. And it's still not boring. So, third time the charm, usually. Um, also, another benefit is I actually did not beat the boss of Sand Ocean. I beat the second level, and it did not end well. boss did not win. In fact, it put me into a... It gave me my first continue, actually. So, unfortunately. Didn't like the way that played out. But we do have all seven cast emeralds now, and, um... Yeah, I'll show you Supersonic. So that music is awesome, first of all. That's the first thing I really want to say. Supersonic, the ability to go supersonic whenever I want is available whenever you want, as long as you have all seven cast emeralds and 50 rings. And you know what the best part is? I talked about this in, um, 
Okay, guys. Seventh cast, everybody. We can do this, and then we can finally fight Eggman. And feel accomplished. Well, I say that, but... You know, hilariously enough, I have to be honest. The uh, six emerald was not as hard as I thought it would be. That kind of disappoints me. Hopefully we'll get a better challenge on this one. Oh, then that chaos emerald is all the way up there. It doesn't look undoable, though. I mean, at least not entirely. Ooh, that... Ooh. Oh, I just realized what the gimmick is. Okay, so I didn't know that ring was there, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that was probably my fail footage, and the next one we find, if we find another one, will be my, um, 7th Emerald footage. I know you probably think it's cheating, but I'm just... Since I don't technically have all seven, but I do technically have all seven, just not the way I wanted them. But anyway, so yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's Mario. The first time I fought this guy, I literally could not see, I, I literally could not see him as anything other than an allegory for Nintendo. It's a good thing we have the fire shield, otherwise, we'd be, otherwise we would be melting right now. I wonder what roasted hedgehog tastes like. Also, I have a question. So... Just out of curiosity, is the entire room supposed to be filled with a flammable gas? Because if I have the fire shield, I should be dead. I'm, I'm just kind of, you know, spitballing here, but that, that, that seemed to make sense to me. Welcome to Sand o o er, Sand Ocean Act 2. Oh god, this is very similar to Sandopolis Act 2, and if you can't already tell, it's because of this gas effect that fills up the room. It's very similar to the, uh, it's very similar to the uh, darkening effect that ha occurred in Sandopolis Act 2 when you're trapped in the pyramid. The longer it goes, the uh, darker it gets until eventually you're not going to be able to see. And I don't know if it kills you, because... Oh, it does. 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 Oh, it takes away your rings. Oh, it takes away your rings. Need... Need... Need to think. So, yeah, what you need to do eventually is you need to make your way to one of these levers that you can find on the top of the ceiling like you can... In Sandopolis, you pull it, and it instantly clears the room, and now you can start breathing again. So yeah, I like... I like Sand Ocean. I, uh... Actually... Oh yeah, no wait, never mind. I did make it here in Sonic 2 when I played Sonic 2. I did make it here. Uh, isn't this like the... 7th level in Sonic 2? Yeah, it's right, uh, right before Metropolis Zone. I love that effect, by the way. The fact that the fire shield sets the oil on fire, that is so cool. There's a lot of polish in this game. You know, I wonder if they actually ever beta tested an oxygen shield. Specifically for this level. Because I feel like that would be something that they would consider and then scrap, because it's like, well, that removes the entire point of the mechanic of having those levers. Hey, you bastard. That was my shield. Ooh, hello. Set everything on fire! It's almost like watching something out of Metal Gear. Or, not Metal Gear, Metal Slug. How everything just ignites. So, there's another ring. Now we just have to get to it. Come on, Tails. Come on, Tails! Hey! So, here's where we get the 7th Chaos Emerald, guys. 
So it looks like they called me from the future and they bring in some little post commentary because I forgot to turn my mic on when I was recording this one. So, yeah, um, the seventh one. I have to say, design-wise, is actually my favorite. It is just so cool to look at. Oh, wow. Looking back on it now, you know, now that I'm not playing and I can take in a lot more of, like, the surroundings besides just focusing on Sonic and the next blue ball that appears on my screen, I have to say, the designs for these zones are really, really cool. Like, as I've been looking at them, as I've been editing the footage, it's just all really, really, really nice. The Red Chaos Emerald, um, honestly, overall, it was not the hardest. Uh, I have to say the hardest was the fourth and fifth. I absolutely hated having to do those. Oh my god, they were the most annoying ones out of all seven. The uh, seventh and sixth were pretty easy. The first and second were also pretty easy. The third, fourth, and fifth were... The 3rd, 4th, and 5th were honestly the hardest out of all of them. They were the ones that gave me the most trouble. I did the 7th one in 2 shots, I did the 6th one in 1 shot, I did the first 2 in 1 go. It was all really easy. At least I think I did the first 2 in 1 go. I'm pretty sure I did. So, did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy seeing me get the 7th Chaos Emerald? Good, because now I'm going to do this! And now you can't complain, because now we technically have all 7. But I don't want to die. And I also kind of want to finish up the level a little bit. Unfortunately, unlike the um, Sonic 3 and Knuckles Complete mod, which this game really, really has a lot of things in common with, uh, it seems to not have a deactivate supersonic on command button, which would be really, really cool. But I guess I understand the gimmick. You know, you have to pick and choose when you want to use him. But, um... I don't know, I think it would have been cool if you could have deactivated him on command. And now we have a fire shield again. And now we're going to cheese the level by going this way. And... Okay, I didn't know that one was there either, but now you know where another four, where a fourth ring is. So I would have had ample chances to get it these two times. I'm sorry guys, I really am. I can't... I'm pissed that I lost the footage, but... I, the next best thing I could do is what I did, just replay the game over, and hopefully everything goes okay this time. So if you're watching this, and this is the particular recording I put out, then you'll know that third time was the charm. Yeesh. First you try to do it blind, and it doesn't work. Then you try to do it half blind, and that still doesn't work, because the autosave feature just doesn't want to freaking work with you. Also, um, I found out that there's DRM in the PC version, and I didn't know that. I thought the only DRM in it was the Steam DRM. But apparently it's Denova. Uh, I don't know much about it, but apparently it's some type of malware that um, can spread your personal information, I think is what it was. It either spreads your personal information or it can uh, infect you with a bunch of harmful ads. It's one of those two. But... Yeah, apparently Sega decided to include this without uh, Christian Whitehead and that developer knowing because uh, they were said in a statement that this is a game that was supposed to be played offline. <coughs> so I'm just going to deactivate Supersonic just for the sake of not cheesing the boss and playing fair because that wouldn't be fun. And I didn't beat this boss last time, so it'll still be a fair challenge. Meet... Uh, what's, what are they called in Mario? Meet Blooper. Er, Octillery. Yeah, Eggman has an Octillery now. Which is, honestly, honest to God, this entire, uh, boss is literally just an excuse to rehash a bunch of different prototypes from, or a bunch of different concepts from other mini-bosses. Which I am absolutely okay with, because I like this. Redo! Also, if you can manage to get the first hit off, uh, Eggman sends that little tentacle up, but if you don't hit him, then he doesn't send that tentacle up. The You'll see what I'm talking about. 
Damn it. Damn it. Alright, so now that we've hit him once. Why are you not sending it? Ooh, that was close. Tails, you need to learn to duck. Ooh. Nope. Destroyed one. Cool. Okay, so I think we need to hit the main octopus part for it to actually send the little tentacle with the spike out. But if you're paying attention or you're a Sonic fan, then you know that a lot of these are all just... Whoa! Wrecked his shit! Listen. If, when you hear that sound, he sends that little tentacle with a spike out. You have to be paying close attention to that because it will hit you if you're not quick enough to avoid it. Gee, that sounds like you can do massive damage if you hit its weak spot. The point I'm saying is, is it's, it's a lot quicker than you might think it is. Got me a few times. But, wow, we actually beat that boss. And, um, yeah, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode when we tackle whatever's next. I really don't know. This is all blind again. Yay! Anyway, guys, uh, thanks. I'll see you next episode.